Hello and welcome to my Warsaw travel guide. These are the places I believe you should definitely visit when you're in Poland. I hope you enjoy this video and that it can be of value to you. Please do press the like button if you enjoyed it. So I spent one week in Warsaw. I rented a small but very nice and cute apartment. This was my view. I rented it for a few hundred euros. Poland is really not that expensive. So I had everything that I need. A nice couch, a little kitchen, a nice bathroom that you will see in a second. It was everything that I needed. It was beautiful. I enjoyed spending time there. And here the bedroom. And I had a good night's sleep. So what I love most about Poland is their amazing food. You can hardly taste any preservatives in the food and it's all natural and organic. Unlike in my country of Belgium where the animals are filled with vaccines which is super unhealthy for us to eat. So this is a restaurant you definitely have to visit, Zapicek. I love the pierogi. It's all natural ingredients, no preservatives as you can see. I really enjoyed eating there. If you go to Poland, no need to cook for yourself. Just go out, go to the restaurant. You can eat for 10 euros, for 15 euros. You can eat like a king. It's The food is super cheap and it's so good. Only for the food, I just want to go back to Poland. Here's the exclusive restaurant pot Gigantami. It's recognized as the best Polish restaurant in Warsaw and it's one of the most unique places in the heart of Warsaw. The place has an amazing atmosphere where history, tradition and culinary art are intertwined with history. So they are recognized as a unique place on the map of Warsaw gastronomy. It is recommended by the Gomio Poland 2018 restaurant guide. As you can see, I ate like a king and I think I paid like 25 euros, which is which is incredible. In my country, it would have cost like 150 euros at least. Then you have the U Fukiera restaurant. It has been awarded as one of the best European restaurants and recommended also by the Michelin Guide 2018 Main Cities of Europe. So in 2018, Magda Gessier, I hope I pronounced it right, received the Michelin plaque and confirmed this prestigious distinction for 2018 in the famous Michelin Red Guide. The food was delicious. So definitely a place to visit here you can see the main courses with the prices so I mean super super cheap the place is very romantic so if you have a spouse or a girlfriend I suggest you visit this restaurant Then you have the Old Town Marketplace. It is the center and oldest part of the Old Town of Warsaw, the capital of Poland. Very romantic walking there, very relaxing. I really enjoyed spending time there.
the background you can see the royal castle which I will visit and show you in a moment it's a castle residency that formerly served throughout the centuries as the official residence of the Polish monarchs and there is the old town observation terrace it has a really nice view I will show you in a moment I was first challenged for a duel I didn't win but I got away with the princess Here we are inside of the royal castle and the castle is stunning, trust me. It has so many beautiful rooms, it's so big, it's incredible. Especially if you love history like me, this is definitely a place you should visit. I even saw paintings from painters from my country of Flanders, so it was awesome. I learned a little bit more of history. So here I'm at the Old Town Observation Terrace. You have to walk about 150 stone stairs and then you're at the top of the tower. So here you will experience Warsaw's probably most breathtaking view. So here you can see a 360 view of the city for a few euros. I mean, definitely visit this, it's beautiful. And here you can get a glimpse of what it is like standing at the top. It's lonely at the top. This is the Old Town Square and it's the center and oldest part of the Old Town of Warsaw. In the background you can see the Mermaid of Warsaw. There are several legends about the mermaid. The tour guides say the mermaid decided to stay after stopping on a riverbank near the Old Town. Fishermen noticed something was creating waves and releasing the fish, so they planned to trap the animal, but then they heard her singing and they fell in love. So a rich merchant trapped and imprisoned the mermaid, hearing her cries, the fisherman rescued her. Ever since the mermaid, armed with a sword and a shield, has been ready to help protect the city and its residents. Here she is in all her beauty. You will enjoy walking around in the city which has much to offer and I think it's super romantic, especially at night.
Palace of Culture and Science with a total height of 237 meters is the tallest building in Poland, the sixth tallest building in the European Union and one of the tallest of the European continent. It was constructed in 1955 and it houses various public and cultural institutions such as cinemas, theaters, libraries, sport clubs, university faculties and authorities of the Polish Academy of Sciences. It has been enlisted in the registry of objects of cultural heritage and when I was there there was a gallery of steel figurines or did you think it was my garage? Of course not. It was really nice to see and you can go all the way to the top for a small fee and you'll have a full view of the city as you can see here. This is definitely worth a visit. Here are some clips from the top but if you're visiting Warsaw it's definitely worth a visit and in real it's much better than you can see on video. The Copernicus Science Center is the largest science center in Poland. It contains over 450 interactive exhibits that enable visitors to single-handedly carry out experiments and discover the laws of science. I really had a blast. As you can see here, I felt like a child again. So especially if you have children, it's definitely worth a visit. You can spend many hours there and they will enjoy themselves and they will love you for it. The center is the largest institution of its type in Poland and it's one of the most advanced in Europe. It has been visited by over 8 million people. For transportation, I always took the Uber. So if you install Uber on your phone, you can get to anywhere, any place you want. And it's also dirt cheap. It's cheaper than renting a car, so this is a good tip. The Botanic Garden is mostly open to the public from March to October. Unfortunately, I was there pretty early in the spring, so it wasn't as beautiful as in summer. I spent hours walking and relaxing in Lazinki Park or the Royal Baths Park in English. It's the largest park in Warsaw, occupying 76 acres of the city center. This is the palace on the isle. And you see when the sun is shining, everybody is relaxing and enjoying the view. In the background you can see the classical amphitheater with the stage. I will show you in a minute. Here you can see the old orangery with a nice fountain. I saw a lot of coins laying in the fountain so I decided to make a wish. So hopefully my wish will come true. I wish that I would get many likes on this video so please help me support my wish and hit that like button.
here I'm on the stage of the classical amphitheater. Really a beautiful park, guys. You can spend a whole day there. The park has a lot more to offer than what I'm showing you. So definitely go visit there. It has a little white house, a temple of the goddess Diana, an Egyptian temple, a water tower, and more. And last but not least, here's a monument to honor John III Sobieski. Not only a Polish hero, but a hero to us all. He's most famous for his victory over the Turks at the Battle of Vienna in 1683. The Ottomans called him the Lion of Lechistan and the Pope hailed him as the savior of Christendom. John, I salute you. Dziękuję.